Hey everyone, welcome back to my next art book preview. This week we have the art book of Phil Tomato Sensual Flow. I think that's how you pronounce it. So you can probably guess from the name there and this little bit here, this does contain nudity or adult content. Um, a quick look at the front and back there. So that is, of course, your warning for uh, slightly cartoonized nudity. Not safe for work. Turn away if you are offended. And then let's get straight into previewing this one. So this is an Omniki Ediciones book. As I always point out in my uh, videos, I could be pronouncing that wrong. I usually pronounce the name of the artist wrong as well. That's not intentional. That's just um, me not being good <laughs> at pronouncing names. So apologies to the artist if that's not actually the title they go by. I will, as usual, put links to the artist's social media pages in the description box below. I normally link to their Instagram page. I don't know too much about this artist because this book is actually one that my brother ordered. Um, so it's an artist that he follows. We both put in together to order from a website to order um, a couple of art books in one bundle. So this one is actually one of his. So yeah, I'm not claiming to know much about the artist. I did have a quick look online though and in the back of this book and I believe he's from the Philippines. And this one's really cool by the way. So it's quite a unique style. And it seems that he uh, streams on Twitch quite often uh, and gives tutorials and things. I had a quick look online to get some information just before recording this video and it looks like he also has a YouTube channel. And from what I've read in this as well, he has an interest or speciality in sort of gesture drawing. So hopefully we'll notice a lot of these drawings have got a lot of flow, a lot of gesture to them. And that seems to be something that he's very interested in. I can tell as well, just from flicking through this now, that there's a lot of sort of fan art based things in here. Um, a lot of the Omniki books often have artists that seem to be big fans of Capcom or Street Fighter, I always notice that. So like the Andrea Confrancisco books, um, if you haven't checked those out, I'll put links in the description box below. Um, that's a really good book too. So I have noticed he does draw a lot of the eyes quite unique. He draws them almost like just the eyelashes and not necessarily the full eye. He, he does switch between it, but what I mean is he has this sort of quite basic eye style. I'll be honest, that one's not really my personal preference, but I quite like this one here uh, where he's actually drawn the eyes a little bit more detailed. But again, no disrespect to the artist, it's personal preference. I do think that the drawings are very good. He seems to use quite a lot of texture as well, uh, like digital background textures and brushes, which is pretty cool. Uh, sorry if the sunlight coming in on the left is causing the colour to go a little bit dodgy, by the way. Unfortunately, I can't do too much about that. Hopefully it's not. So Phil Tomato also has a Patreon page. Um, and also, it looks like he's got his own Discord as well. I haven't actually clicked on it to know whether that's private or linked to Discord or anything. Um, more fan art there again. So I realised that my uh, talking in this video probably isn't too helpful to give you information about the artist, but hopefully previewing some of these pages like this might be helpful to you if you were looking at getting this book. There's quite a lot of content in there. This one I think is really cool as well. I love these sort of full characters, or almost full characters. Really cool. As I say, I like them more when they've got those kind of eyes as opposed to these simplified ones. But the artist is obviously very talented, obviously knows what he's doing, very skillful. As with a lot of the books I've been previewing recently, it is a very, well, stylized style, I guess. So some of you guys might really like this one and some of you guys maybe not. I'd be interested to know though, let me know in the comments below. I will put links in the description box below this video to where I actually bought this book from. And I'll put links as well to some of my other book preview videos. I've got absolutely tons now, definitely check that out. Hopefully you guys will find that very inspiring. So a little bit of a biography there about the artist. But yeah, I just wanted to get this one previewed on camera before I uh, send this off to my brother. If you did find this video useful, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and what other art books you guys want to see next. Feel free to leave some information about the artist too. I'm always intrigued to know more. Aside from that, hit that thumbs up button and switch notifications on for future content. Thanks so much for watching everyone.